Short levels can be good levels. There, I said it. Welcome back to Game Wolf Plays Doom 2. We're going into a dead simple place. Called dead simple because it is simple and you might be dead. It's just a, like, I suppose it's a showdown kind of level, but it's not really a boss encounter. It's just challenging. It'll also introduce you to two new monsters. Yeah, what a time to introduce new monsters in a closed space. Enclosed space. But I'll tell you what's gonna happen. You're gonna go through one series of monsters. Hold on. You have entered deeply into the infested starport. But something is wrong. The monsters have brought their own reality with them. And the starport's technology is being subverted by their presence. Ahead. You see an outpost of hell, a fortified zone. If you can get past it, you can penetrate into the haunted heart of the Starbase and find the controlling switch which holds Earth's population hostage. Do you like my current announcer voice? I'll be using it for the rest of the playthrough, maybe, or I won't remember. Anyway, these are the Mancubuses, or the Mancubi. And they're big tanks, they take damage, and they shoot big rocket launchers. Which will go quite cockeyed when you have partial visibility on. <laughs> also be careful with the rocket blasts because of the way they're calculated. Sometimes it may seem like they can go through walls, but what's happening is they're going through diagonally. And kind of scraping the corners. So be careful of that. When you've killed all the mancubuses, mancubi, bye 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 baby, mancubi, when you've killed them all, um, this uh, triggers some walls to go down when you meet the second set of enemies. And uh, it's quite easy to get your shit kicked in, so I imagine you might not get it right the first time. But with practice, you can do it in one go. Just keep moving around. Alright, these are the Spider Masterminds babies. I forget what to call these. But they don't hit scan. They instead fire plasma at you. Which can also be a pain in the ass when you have partial visibility, but hey. Um However you want to deal with them. Yeah, plasmaing back is good, actually. I have plenty to spare. Also rocketing them, super shotgunning them. Pretty much the tactics you use for the uh, Mancubus, only you need to deal with them very quickly. Mancubus, you at least have the benefit of running like hell. With this, you might not have that benefit, and you need to go in the offensive as soon as you can. And they really do not like getting their brain shot. Oh, this might be more threatening than their big mother mama. The big mug brain, yeah. These are little baby brains. Daughter brains? Yeah. So if you've got if you got big baby brain, cahoots. Kudos to you. What the hell's going on? Okay. So when you kill the second set of monsters, then you'll have some other doors or, or platform or trigger so that you can go up and exit. Hit all these switches to make all the corners go down. I save them for after I dealt with the monsters. Although you can do it earlier, mostly so you can get that Megasphere. But I'm gonna end the level with the Megasphere instead, so I'm all set up. Cool, right? I thought so. We'll just check around a couple loops to make sure I got what I need. I have fully stacked. The only thing I'm not gonna be stacked with is rockets, once again. Because it's just, it's just hard to fill up your rockets, so you can shoot your sword with power. Alright. I don't have a sword. I'm sorry. Swords are not toys. Anyway. It's enough looking around. We out. Press any of the eyeballs to leave. It also counts as the only secret. It really shouldn't be a secret. This is kind of required. Anyway, get out of here. Press the eyeball. That's it for said dimple. Uh, yeah, I can't imagine you would not get everything. <laughs> this, 
there's nothing to hide. Unless you're doing multiplayer, then there is something to hide. Well, you'd have to no clip to find it. That's my little secret from me to you. Somewhere outside this level, if you spawn out there in co-op, or multiplayer perhaps, there's actually a BFG hidden. You can't get it in single player mode though. Not legitimately. I just want you to know, in case you're wondering what lies beyond those walls. What lies beyond this video, except I will see you all next time. Assuming you still fall this crap. And, uh, yes. <laughs> Probably the shortest level in the game. I'm out.